Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we have this VF SV6 Storm. It's only a V6, but should be getting some power upgrades as we have a Kappa Pro Charger kit here as an intercooled kit. So as you see there, we've got the Pro Charger, yeah, intercooler, cooler pipe, intake pipe, air filter. Let's get to unboxing this. Alrighty guys, project is pretty well complete. We have run into a few little difficulties. On this in bottom intercool pipe here, we had to route it the opposite way around. The blow off valve sitting here was hitting on the DRL assembly on the bumper there. So we've had to flip it upside down and now the two blow off valves are sitting in there. Mounted the air filter and bracket to the radiator support. The intercooler, that just runs straight through the radiator support coming up and into the bay. How far? Oh, how did you get the bar to work? I just put the fucking air cooler pipe in. Yeah, so... Oh, you can't fucking see it now. Oh, so the bar valve's like up. So the bar valve is like right next to the fucking frame rail, just off the chart. You'll be able to see it from the top. Yeah. Is that pipe all right to flow the other way? Because it's running, the air's going through different direction. I don't see why it would. Yeah, it's, it's not directional. Well, what would be directional? Like the flow. Because now you put it on that way, the air's going to want to go. It's just an open flow. But there's already air in there and the air's meant to go that way and now the air's going to... You know what I mean? The air that's already... Uh, 
as we can see here, we've got a full X4 system headers and cut back for this SV6 that we've just installed this Pro Charger on. Now up here we have our headers slash cats and then we have our post cat section in the middle here midsection, rear section, and then our mufflers with our tips. So we're installing this as it's got the stock system on it still and it's restricting it quite heavily. But once we throw this on, we'll throw some 98 into her, um, slap her back on the dyno and see some final numbers. This whole system from headers all the way back to mufflers will be replaced with a high performance, high flowing exhaust. Let's get this off and let's get the new one on. So that's the um, uh, VFS V6 project finished up. Really cool kit from Kappa. We didn't have much dealings in getting the kit. Customer supplied the whole kit to us. Got an entry level kit with a in a cooler optioned into it. Cool thing is with LFX being a DI engine, don't need to do fuel system stuff. Injectors that are in it are good enough. High pressure pumps good enough. 400 rear horsepower, super impressive. Well, 390 was its best, which is pretty well in the area of like a cam to be a bang for buck. I think the blower kits are about eight grand to buy for like the good kit. And then with fitting and tuning, you probably drive away around 10 and a half, maybe 11. You can achieve like 350, 400 horsepower. That's really cool. Probably the best bang for buck mod. Over time, we've done cams and plant them spaces and all this other stuff to just get like nowhere near these sort of gains and spending quite a lot of money trying to do it. Trying to do something with your V6, definitely recommend the Kappa V3 kit. Let us know if you want to know more. We're happy to work with you. It sounds really sick. We ended up doing a full exhaust on it just to help it sort of flow better. Did see some improvements from that, about 30 horsepower. I kind of expected a lot more. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Is this still filming? No, <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha Please put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there and like... Is it just me or is your brain? <laughs> Are you in <laughs>